I felt amazing doing that. I didn't, I didn't feel tired. I didn't, I didn't hurt after hiking up the side of a mountain. I didn't, you know, and when I was doing it, I felt really strong and I felt good doing it. And, and I was reflecting back on all of the stuff that I've done and I've been building my wheels. I kept saying that to my friend, Sherry. I was like, I've been building my wheels for this. This is why I've been working my ass off, like literally. And um, it felt amazing for me to be able to like, it's like when you study for a big test and you take your test and you kill it because you, you took the time and, and you put in the effort to get there. So that was kind of how I was feeling on this particular trip. And um, it did make a huge difference for me. So I would say my why is back, which is really exciting for me. And, and um, as soon as my face heals, I'll start working out again. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I love it. I love it, guys. Like, so I I think that it is super huge, Jennifer, and it's something that I've been waiting for you to discover, like yourself. But you needed to see it for yourself. So, like, to just reframe this, guys. Like again, like, kudos to Jen for built taking the time to build the foundation. Um, because getting the results and, and her rediscovering her why I believe is a little bit of not even understanding that she got the results that she wanted or was desiring. Um, and then just being able to move with things. Sometimes we, we get stuck because holy shit, we don't realize that our lifestyle changed. And now we feel like we're stuck, but you've really just evolved using the word evolves and that, you know, you now automatically, this is what I mean. This is the fun part. When you just automatically do these things, like you don't even have to think about it because what you used to, like what was comfortable to you before, how you comfortably enjoyed your vacations, how you comfortably enjoyed the fuck it. I'm on vacation. Let me just take off kind of thing has changed and what a great feeling and now you were strong enough to climb mountains get 20,000 steps in do all these fucking that is like guys that is like the beautiful part of this that is the beautiful part of this it's not just the physique it's like who would have ever dreamt you would have done you would have done that a year ago you know, how fucking amazing. And I think sometimes, and Lisa, I'm going to tag this a little bit into like what you were talking about earlier. We get stuck with that. Oh my God, I have to, this is a diet. This is a thing. But then if you zoom out and you look at the big picture, this is a freaking lifestyle that you're learning to live and look at all the other things that come with it. Like, you get to do this shit now where you couldn't have done it before. So I think sometimes we have to shift out of that. This is a diet thing. And this is just, this is what I do. You know what I mean? I mean, and it's okay if I color outside the lines a little, as long as I come back in. And that's like, for all of you guys that are, you know, you, that's why we are so solid on you guys building the foundation. That is why in this program, other than others, that I'm firm on you guys building this foundation. I might feel like a pain in your fucking ass sometimes, but that's why, because I want you to evolve to this place where Jennifer just talked about it's easy, where we've heard Stacy talk about it's easy before on these calls. Like you just flow. And by the way, the burger, I'm going to just tell you, <clears throat> there's nothing wrong with the burger and fries. <clears throat> My um, immediate thought on that, Jennifer, is it's the cheese. You just have an adversity to cheese. If you'd have had the burger, fries, and a beer, you probably would have felt fine. Um, I, it was probably the cheese. It was definitely the cheese. I, um, it's when I first started, I'm, I'm what, a little over a year in. I love cheese. And I was the one that was always like, oh, cheese yeah. board, okay, remember? Yeah. And so um, Jen, Jen and I were talking one day and um, she said, you won't miss the cheese. Don't worry about it. Once, once you're done with that, you won't miss the cheese. Literally, that was her quote. And I, I was like, I don't know. I really, 
I like cheese. I like cheese a lot. Well, after not having cheese for almost a year, I was, and then having, having it like I did, like that amount of it, um, it wrecked my guts. Mm. And I, I don't do dairy really at all. I don't have milk or sour cream or any of that stuff. So it, it's a rich cheese on top of that. Um, probably mixed in with the grease of the burger. It was a nightmare afterwards. So no, I would say, ladies, if there's something that you have an adverse reaction to and you're <laughs> cutting it out of your lifestyle, um, be very careful if you try to reintroduce it to your body because your body will hate you for it. <laughs> yes. Um, but honestly, I... I felt so much better on this, like on these two um, hiking trips. We go hiking at least a couple times a year and hadn't been for a little while. Actually, when I started the program, we were in uh, the Grand Tetons. So that, that very week. So I kind of went off of, hey, you know, a year ago in the Grand Tetons, I was out of breath. I was falling behind. I was um, I was really sore, and those hikes were nothing compared to what I did in Yosemite. So I I don't know. I really just felt like there was a level of achievement there that I couldn't really gauge just on my daily life, you know, daily doings around my house or at school or in my gym. So yeah, thank you. You're welcome. I'm just. I'm happy to be re-inspired. High five, girl. Awesome. I love those kind of wins. Congratulations. Glad to have you back. Um, and I look forward to seeing you kicking some more ass, girl. Hitting some more freaking goals. Building those wheels. <laughs> All right. Uh, who else do I want to... Guys, if you're here and you're not naked, I want your camera on, please. Um, Lieutenant gave a message okay um and i also see carrie's guns <laughs> <laughs> carrie she up. said lieutenant said good morning everyone i was so inspired hearing how folks were doing on their steps at the last meeting so i made a commitment to walk at work not only did i reach 10k but i also had over 13k which she did send me a picture of steps at the end of the day. Now, truth be told, I was super tired this weekend, but my plan is to keep up the momentum. I love and then that. she says her challenge is getting her food into my fitness pal. I've looked at the June 11th video and still can't figure it out. I can enter it in my diary, but to set it up under individual meals is my challenge. I need help. Okay. Girl, I can help you. I had a question on that, guys, and we'll we'll do a vote. Jen, let's do a vote. We'll figure out how to do the vote. Um, oh, there's a poll now in the community. So, oh, yeah, I saw that. Oh, yes, there's a oh, poll. Cool. All right, yes. so we will poll you guys in the community. I was going to tell you that, Jen. I'm glad you noticed that. So we'll drop a poll in the baddies, but you guys can raise your hand here. Would it be helpful, and we're going to ask again, um, if we did a live session where y'all had your phones, so we do the Zoom and we coach you all together. So we'll give you guys that are struggling, if you're not struggling and you're cool with this, but if you are struggling with getting your, like Lieutenant is, we'll come on to a Zoom. We will, you guys will all have your phones and we'll do this together. Would that be helpful? Raise your hand. Virtually. Janet, I don't see your camera on, so raise your hand. Okay. All right. We'll do a poll, and we'll also do a poll, Jen, as well, in the um, baddie, so you guys vote on that. If you don't want to, if we get, you know, as long as we have enough people, we'll do it. And, you know, if you don't need it, you don't need it. That's cool. All right. Yeah. And I saw Alyssa, too. Did Alyssa... Alyssa's good morning. I, um, I was challenged with getting my steps in, waited until the day cooled off and then it rained. Yeah, I walked in the rain yesterday. I literally did. <laughs> it was kind of nice. Um, 
All right. So I love this. Uh, Shannon, I haven't seen you in a hot minute. Come in and tell us something that you have gotten better at, you've improved at, and are you having any challenges we need to help you with? Hey, good morning, everyone. Um, so this is probably the best one that I think I feel like I have brought to you in the tribe yet. Last week, I locked my keys in my truck, got down out of my truck. And as the doors close in, I realized, oh, no, I don't have my keys in my hand. <laughs> so about a mile and a half away from the house and I'm in my flip flops. Well, I got to get my steps anyway. So I walked home, got my keys, walked back. And the whole time I wasn't mad at myself or cussing myself, which usually I would have been. I mean, you fucking stupid ass. How you're a dumbass, you know, just kind of like talking so much smack to myself. And this time I didn't. I was like, well, it's a positive. Now you're getting your steps earlier. So, <laughs> Way saying, to reframe shit. I got to <laughs> give you a high five on that one, uh, girl. <laughs> like, yeah, like sometimes, you know, life gives us <laughs> we got to learn to turn that shit into or lemons. We had to turn that shit into lemonade. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, and you know, I love that you said that because so often in life, whether it's nutrition, whatever it is, we have a tendency to get upset with ourselves, talk down on ourselves, be irritated. And whether you all like the word manifest or not, all that does is manifest more shit in your life. Like it just manifests more shit. And so if you want to flip the script, you have to do exactly what Shannon didn't go. All right, well, <laughs> here we go. I guess I get my steps in. So I love that for you. I absolutely love that. That is a great, great way to reframe shit. Yep. Thank you. I wouldn't have There's nothing you can do about it anyway, right? Exactly. You got to fix it. And, you know, I wouldn't have. I wouldn't have been, well, I got to do this anyway. I'll get to do this sooner. I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have thought like that before. I just, I'd have been kicked mm -hmm. all the way home. <laughs> so. Self-talk. I love it. I love it. Any challenges we could help you with? Um, I have been struggling with the steps, the, the water and leg cramps, but Jen has helped me with all that. So hey. water and leg cramps go together, girlfriend. Okay. okay. Water okay. and leg. Where do you live? I'm in Texas. Heat. Water and leg cramps are going together. They're two mm -hmm. in the same. Okay, guys, th th this has been a horrendous summer, not just in Las Vegas, all over the place. If you all aren't drinking your water, you need to be drinking your water. Okay. Mm -hmm. like, there's just no question about it right now. Like none. And if you've got to limit your caffeine, limit your caffeine because your caffeine is dehydrating you. So if you are drinking caffeine right now during the summer, I'm not telling you not to drink it, but I'm telling you, you need to drink an extra 16 ounces of water for every caffeine drink that you have. Okay. It dehydrates okay. you. So you will find yourself getting dizzy. You might find yourself getting cramps. So if anybody on here on this call is cramping up, you're getting cramps in your toes, your fingers, your legs, you're not drinking enough water. Also, as um, Lisa talked about, um, so you can order from first form the essential amino acids, EAAs. Putting these into your water will help increase your electrolytes. Um, it will also make you crave the water. I'm, I'm actually pretty convinced of that. The fact that Lisa herself started drinking more water and now I'm thinking about myself and I was putting it, a lot of it in my water in Tulum and I was drinking water like a mad woman too. I was craving it. So putting that in your water will help, but it's also going to replace your electrolytes um, and help with um, recovery of your muscles and stop with any cramping. All right. So make sure you're getting your water and those two go together. As far as your steps, girl, just keep locking your keys in your car and steps are no longer a problem. Okay. <laughs> uh, I love it. But seriously, though, when it comes to steps, I'm going to firmly, guys, tell you that we spend more time sitting a lot of times on 
our phones and things like that. And that's what hinders our steps, whether you want to believe it or not. Um, for example, when I was not really on vacation, but kind of on vacation a week ago, it was easier for me to walk than it has been since I've been back. Why? I was more disconnected from my phone then and it was easier for me to get my steps in. I didn't even have to think about it. Like they were just coming in because I was focused on it. So learn to, so I catch myself, even me on this thing too much. I pick it up. I'm like, oh, let me just, no, you got to have boundaries with that thing and your laptop and your work and, you know, whatever, put some boundaries in and it'll become easier to get your steps in. Specifically, if you have sit down jobs, you, you, you're going to have to structure it. Boundaries. Let's talk to Carrie because you notice her arms. I know. <laughs> I see those. Can you hear me? Yeah. So tell me something. Tell me what you've learned, something that you got better at. I want to hear. Um, well, I've been trying really hard to get to make my step goal so I can make like that monthly average for each what I'm supposed to do because of being on vacation and I'm like in the road for like 11 hours a day it made my some of the days are like lower so I've been working really hard to try to get that up and um I had to buy a smaller dress size so that was exciting because sometimes the scale like we all know it lies but for whatever reason like we cannot get out of our mind right so like it's like you step on it and it's not like, you're like, I'm working so hard. Why is it not down? Why is it up? You know, like, what is going on? It's super frustrating. But then when you're like, well, my pants don't fit anymore. Like, something right is happening. But it's just like, what they call non-scale victories. So I'm trying to keep that in mind because I get discouraged sometimes about that. But, um, and then um, I guess I'll just call myself out. Um, I haven't been eating before I work out. So um, I was feeling really dizzy during workouts and like one time I even felt like I was going to fall off the treadmill and um so I'm working on that and learning that that's not as as I progress because the workouts are getting more challenging with each like time so um I'm learning that I'm not going to be able to get away with that anymore so I might have been able to get away with it before when I first started working out but now that the workouts are getting harder I I can't get away with it anymore so yeah that's what I learned I love it. I love it. So before I ask you any challenges, I want to touch on that. So guys, you know, this isn't, Carrie's not alone on this. Some of you guys have done this um, and we've ran into this before. So if any of you are listening to this, you should not, unless you are specifically being told to do a fasted workout or a fasted cardio, you should all be eating before you work out. And if you remember from way back in the beginning, when you first started, we tell you that you should be eating within 30 to 45 minutes. 45 minutes is the maximum after you get up because it's called breakfast for a reason. So there's no way you could get a workout in on an empty stomach, zero, if you're eating within 45 minutes. And I'm not picking on you, Carrie. I'm just like, everybody has done it. So you, so just remember, like, there's no way that you could eat within 45 minutes of getting up in the morning and get your workout in, unless you're Speedy Gonzalez on your workout, okay? Like, there's just no way. I, I, I can't, you would have to literally bounce out of fucking bed right into your gym clothes like a cartoon and road runner your way to the gym and through your workout and like flash dance your way home. Like there's just zero way 45 minutes would happen. Like it would be a comical cartoon that I really want to see, by the way, if any of you have done it, like I literally need to see that. Um, so yes, you should be eating before. Um, and to also layer on to that, sometimes... Some of you that have done it, as Carrie said, you get away with it in the beginning if you have more to lose because you have a little more body fat there if you have a little bit there. But as you progress through the program, as she said, like that becomes harder and harder. And you have to remember, we're not programming your food for that. We don't have that built in. We don't have that. You're not built for that to happen. Like we are banking on it by building your workouts and your nutrition plans on the fact that you're eating before you work out. 
Um, but yes, if you're feeling dizzy or faint during your workouts, it's one of two things. One, you're not eating enough and you need to let us know because we got to figure that out um, what's going on Two, you're not drinking enough water. You're not also could be that you're not getting enough sodium in to carry. So I don't know if you're not. So remember in the beginning of all of our calls, we talk about salting your food. So unless you have high blood pressure, you should be salting your food. This time of year is when that comes into play huge, specifically my Vegas friends. Um, those of you anywhere, to be honest with you, it's been hotter than hell all over the place. When you are perspiring a lot, you are losing salt from your body. If you're not putting it back in, you can get dizzy. I literally fell off. So I can relate to Carrie. I literally fell off the stairs once during prep, like literally right off the back, doom, off the back. I got dizzy, fainted. I wasn't eating enough. I wasn't taking in enough sodium and off I went right on my ass. Um, so that's huge. So make sure that you have the sodium in, you're getting enough water in and that you're eating. Do you have any challenges, young lady, that we need to help you with? No, I think, um, Last week, I had like one day where I kind of fell off my meal plan. I tried to like substitute it with stuff that's not, you know, kind of like the lifestyle, but um, I just feel kind of like crap the next day. So um, it empowered me to be back on uh, this week really strong. So that was that part was good. Awesome. So guys, when you're looking to substitute, so if you're to a place and again, Carrie, you know, you've built a pretty solid foundation. I know you still have goals to hit, but your foundation also, you're another one that's built a strong foundation. So one of the same direction that I gave Lisa, make sure you're diving into your macro university. Okay. And that you're starting to track. You should have be all the way to part three, where you've watched substitutions, right? So making sure that that's really solid. And then when you go to substitute, really literally do it in the app so you can see the substitute. Guys, To in order to get to that place where you are able to test and tweak foods, you've got to be using MyFitnessPal to make this a lifestyle. You've got to learn how to swap those foods out properly. Also, you guys have access in all, you all have access to this in your on-demand section under your resources. So your Ruby resources um, will have it and it is under nutrition guides. And under nutrition guides, if you guys haven't read it, the Fuel Day F nutrition guide is full of value full of freaking value. So if anybody who's read the, the AF nutrition guide, be honest. Great. Jennifer has go read it guys. It tells you what to swap. It tells you what to swap. There's a section in there that says grocery shopping example list. It gives you ideas of all the lean proteins that you can swap. It tells you like your, now it doesn't give you the macronutrients, but it tells you, hey, here's some examples of lean proteins you can have. Here's examples of complex carbs. Here's, here's example of simple carbs. So then it just becomes easy for you to go, oh, well, I don't want this. I would, I, but this is on the list. So let me put this in. And then all you guys are doing, if you've been watching, is your, you know, the, the, the macro university is you're just a judge uh, adjusting the ounces until you hit the same macros that are on your nutrition plan, but you guys got to play with it. That's how you're going to get better at it by playing with it. Um, but, and that's how Carrie, you're going to know what foods you should be looking to substitute versus not substitute, you know, and sometimes you're going to throw shit in. Like, you know, Jennifer said, there's a, I like it when you guys do this sometimes, specifically when you get to the police place where you're starting to learn your body, introducing things back in, you then learn why we take dairy out. <laughs> it's a big aha. Oh, I guess there's a reason why she built that foundation for us. There's a reason why I take sugar out. Oh, I guess there's a reason why she did that. So like you start to figure these things out because remember this program, this methodology, what I've put together isn't something that I grabbed out of the sky and blew bubbles out of my ass, okay? It's proven to give results, 
Okay, there's a reason why I do it. We talked about this on last conversations with Jules. There's a reason why a house is built, Terry, thank you, with cement, bricks, and rebar. Terry finally got me to know what rebar is. So there's a reason why that that is why a foundation to a house is built. There's a reason why you don't use eggs and flour to build your house. There's a reason why we have created this program to give results. So when you come in too early and you start sprinkling your shit on there and you're all guilty of it and there's people currently in the tribe that are guilty of it coming in Boom, right on reset and rejuvenate week and being like, okay, well, I like your plan, but I'm just going to do my fucking thing. Shit don't work like that. I mean, it kind of sort of does, but you don't get the 100% results. So that when you build the foundation, that's when you get to sprinkle your own fairy dust on it. Like Jennifer McCombs talked about. Like Stacy's talked about. Make sense? Like Rita did when she went to Italy. Like Lisa, you're going to learn to do. Right? Right. Make sense, guys? Like Janet, like she just went on vacation and ate a burger and lost two pounds. Right, Janet? Like, Janet, come on off of mute and talk to us about that shit. Oh, I got to help her get off mute. Wait a second. Ask to come off mute. I'm, I'm trying to help her get off mute. She's laughing. We'll see if she gets off mute, but true story. <laughs> hey, coach, real quick. I have a quick question for you. Yes. You know that protein powder that um, I bought while I was out of town? Can I use that one instead of first form? I really like it, actually. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Which, did okay. you get the uh, isolate? Yes. Yeah, it's the same. It's actually, it's a quality brand. Yeah. Yeah, I really like it. So I like it. It's much cheaper. <laughs> but I mean, it, I don't really I like the cheaper but um yes because i've had it before they're all about the same but if you like it better sure i do where is it at i got it over here yeah i ended up buying the big one i got this one too yeah this one here mm -hmm. that flavor is just awesome cinnamon cereal i put that in my oatmeal and oh my gosh it's great yep it's not a bad yeah. if you like it yeah the cinnamon one is good and I bought the packets so because I'm leaving out of town to Arizona for seven days. So those are different. Just so you know, look at the macro. Are line. they? Yep. Those aren't the isolate ones. It's, they're fine, but no. I want you to look at the macros in comparison to the back of the other one. So one is an isolate and that one is what? more of a meal replacement. So the one in your hand is like level uh -huh. one, and the one in the jar that oh, you know, like for yes. is formula one. So, that's so formula one and level one, basically. Correct. Oh, so I would want to use this one more. Correct. That's okay. Idea. Okay. All right. All right. Any Sorry. other questions? That's all right. Janet still hasn't gotten off mute, so <laughs> she can't get off. So that, that's totally all right. Uh, Terry, why are you hiding from me? She's at Disneyland. No, no she, oh, oh she, there she is. I'm at breakfast. I'm going to send a picture of what I've been eating. I'm eating at breakfast. You'd be very proud. <laughs> Let's see. show us. Let us see. It's Well, I can't show it now because I just ate it, but I took a oh. picture of it to send. But it's oatmeal, plain, almond butter, egg whites, and berries. Mm -hmm. And I packed my protein powder, too. So when I'm in the park, I have my protein shake and I have, I'll be substituting properly, but yeah, I'm doing this. Good. Definitely different than last summer when I was at Disney and I was 36 pounds heavier. 
and eating legs swollen, okay. feet swollen, eating, oh yeah, eating all that and just feeling awful. So I'm excited to see just how easy it's going to be to walk around the park. Awesome. I love it. I love it. Yeah. It's totally possible to yeah. meals. Like think about like what we just yeah. talked about, like use my fitness pal. Mm-hmm. Yep. And you'll know if you're in your macros or not. Yeah. Definitely keeps me in check for sure. Awesome. I hope you have fun. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> I expect to see numerous steps on your. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, it's going to be interesting because I go crazy at Disney. So we'll see just how many steps I get in. Like, I'm all over that place. So, yeah, today and tomorrow. So, yep. Love it. And yeah. there is a gym here at the hotel, too. So, good. Yeah. Because awesome. I really Thanks, guys. I just gave you a really good workout. What's wrong with you? Yeah, <laughs> you did. I know. I've, I've looked at it. I wasn't able to do it yesterday, but I'm going to, I will. I know I was in the car and traveling, but <clears throat> yeah. Thank Get you. Get on it, girl. <laughs> we're, about to, we're about to grow. All right. Yes. All right. Awesome stuff. I love it. Good. Have fun. All right. Um, anybody else? We've been on this call for a while. I love it. I actually was recording it on my camera and I my battery died. So um, if you don't have anything else, I think this was an amazing call. If somebody else has something that they want to share, raise your hand and come off mute now or forever hold your peace. Jen, you got anything you want to add to this? Um, I think everybody should be high fiving their self because we literally almost had a hundred percent of you guys checking in on time. There was only two that did not check in on time. So high five yourself. I was very pleased. I was super stoked about that. Actually, <laughs> that was my coaching win. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. And we've got you guys all on this call. This is a huge call. Actually, yeah. the morning calls have been a little bit bigger. And, you know, just to add to that, guys, we really appreciate it. Like there, it may seem minor to you guys checking in on time and not checking in on time because it's easy to believe that you are our only coaching client. And we love that you feel that way, but you're not. And so, imagine trying to do all of these check-ins. So we appreciate it when you check in on time because then you allow us to get the check-ins done and still have a life. Like, you know, you guys want, there's other things that we need to do. There's other things that come with your check-ins. There's things that propel off of that your meal plan your program updates all of those things are very cognizant on your check-in so super important that you guys check in and if you can't check in if you're traveling to actually we would prefer you check in before just letting us know and and check in before you leave one we get a good read on what you know what what what's going on before you actually travel and then we get a good read on what happens when you come back so totally appreciate that so yes thank you guys for being so diligent on that and we appreciate you guys being on this call so yeah high five yourself and i will drop this recording in the whatever the, wherever i drop it <laughs> The resources. <laughs> the resources, yes. I'll drop it in there. And you guys, um, and remember, we are dropping all conversations with Jules in there. So if you've missed any, Jennifer McCombs, if you want to go back and watch them, you were on vacation, you can turn it Anybody that's missed them, I'm saying Jennifer because she's been gone. You guys can go back. You did. I watched them. I did. <laughs> Yes, you can always go back and watch them. All right, appreciate you guys. Have a great day. Peace, love, and protein. Bye. Bye.